Let's start with the basics. Step on your left foot. Swing your right foot forward. Swing your foot back, cutting your opponent's foot down. Let's see from the side. Take a big step on your left foot. Then swing your right foot up in a big motion. Swing your foot back, cutting your opponent's foot down. Align your chest with your opponent's and make sure your chest is upright. Your opponent's weight is on the right foot. My center of gravity is over my big toe on my left foot. Do not stretch your left knee, bend your knee slightly so that you can apply power. This is the basics. Next, I will explain how to use the hikite. The purpose of the hikite is to align your chest with your opponent's chest. This will also bring your opponent's weight onto his right foot. Twist and pull your wrist so that your opponent's center of gravity rests on the right foot. Pulling horizontally to the left causes the opponent's center of gravity to come onto the right. If you don't hit the opponent's chest and pull the hikite enough, you'll be sent to hell. Be careful. Next, let's explain the surate hand. Grip the lapel firmly like this. Slide the forearm up the chest and do a thumbs up. This is the basic method. There are many other ways of doing this. Pull it up big and firmly and hit your chest on your arm. Let's talk about your feet. Step on your left foot forward like this. Make sure to land on the toes, not the heel. There are three points to keep in mind. First, the stepping position. Step on the same level next to your opponent's right foot. If you are too far or too close, you will be countered by the opponent. Find the best position for yourself. Be careful of the direction you step on your left foot. This is the correct direction. Step straight so you do not open up or close too much space. Lastly, it is about the left knee. Prevent your knee from overstretching when you step on it. Bend your knee slightly. My toes are hidden by my judogi when I look down. Next, I'll explain the action of the right foot. Point your toe and stretch your knee and swing the leg up. Can you hear this sound? This is the sound of my big toe and the tatami. The sound is made when they rub against each other. Next, I'll explain how to throw. The important point is to raise the opponent's chin. Like this. Like this. Your right foot should aim to hit the back of the opponent's knee with the back of your knee. Reap with your right leg major outer reaping. You can sweep the leg strongly by making sure the swinging leg toes are stretched. Do not stop short your movement of your leg. Swing your leg in a continuous motion. Do not stop here. Continue the motion until it is like this. Do not forget to pull the hikite diagonally and downwards like putting on a seat belt. It is difficult to break the balance of a stationary opponent. One of the many solutions is to use the side to break the opponent's balance. Attack when the opponent tries to rebalance like this. You can also use Kosoto. It is important to move the opponent to set up his throw. Next is how to do double step Kosoto. Ono is a specialist with this version. It is important to raise the opponent's chin with the right hand. Take a big step when readjusting. Next is the method to use against a defensive opponent. Grip your opponent's throaty hand to prevent him having a grip on my lapel. 
Make sure the opponent does not grab my surety. Apply pressure downwards on the hikite and release this pressure. Take a big step by jumping in with the left foot. Finally, I'll explain how to defend against Osoto. Blue will step back with his right foot, open his right leg and right hip outwards to the right, like this. Notice the direction of the toes of Blue's right foot. This makes it very difficult to throw by Osoto. Do Uchimata from Osoto faint? Opponent tries to prevent Osoto by the defense mentioned previously. This makes him in a perfect situation for my Uchimata. Because the upper body is stiff, my right foot steps back. My right hand pulls forward. It is a very unbalanced situation for the opponent. Easy upon, he becomes a victim to my Uchimata. I will use feints with my Osoto to check the reaction of my opponent. When doing these feints, if my Osoto is not committed, the opponent will not react, so the Osoto will not set up a strong reaction. I will make a video explaining right versus right Uchimata, explaining this situation. Please look forward to it. Another setup is to use an Osoto feint to transition into Sasai. Blue retreats with his right foot to defend, extend blue right hand forward and step back with your right foot. The opponent is in a very unbalanced situation. 